CBS, there you go. That's all I need to hear. It shouldn't matter about the damn spreads and all this stupid crap. Do people really believe in this stuff? It's fake. At least know the records. Uh, like, come on, on, guys. Where you at on this matchup? Can Joe Burrow leave the Bengals to win at home for the first time this year? Look, I haven't given up on this Bengals team all year. We've had the Deskins at the Joe Burrow. That offense, they can win at any given time. You know, if it becomes a track meet, the other team has to match production. I think that's a tough ask for most teams offensively. But when I look at this Philadelphia Eagles team with what they have with Saquon Barkley, they can, they can control the tempo of the football. 
football game. He near his career high in yards last week. And I think you can mitigate some of the risk you have with Jalen Hurts at quarterback by continuing to hand the football to Saquon Barkley. If that's a game plan, it's going to put a lot of stress on the interior defensive line of that Cincinnati Bengals group. I love the Eagles in this spot. It's the only one where I kind of scratch my head a little bit about it. I just have a feeling Saquon Barkley could be greedy in this game. If I think the Bengals have made strides on defense the last couple weeks, and that's important for that because we saw early in the season they were awful on defense and put so much pressure the offense to do things, and that offense can't do it, and I think they will do it. Look, the Eagles got all over Daniel Jones last week. I think they'll be better protected here. I think Joe Burrow will be able to have his shots down the field. I'll take the Bengals at home. I know they're struggling at home. I'm taking this one. There are four spreads this week. Right there. You got it. Keep what you're doing. Shots down the field. I'll take the Bengals at home. I know they're struggling at home. I'm taking this one. There are four spreads this week. There are uh, two score spreads. Our next game is one of them. The Ravens minus nine and a half in Cleveland against the Browns. Who will be starting James Winston this week? Yeah, and look, James Winston cannot be any worse than what Deshaun Watson has been. He just can't be. And you know, he makes a lot less money too. By the way, in case anybody's wondering, it's a bad situation with Deshaun Watson. You never want to see a guy get hurt. But James Winston might end up being a better quarterback. I probably would have benched Deshaun Watson. I don't think they were allowed to bench Deshaun Watson at the time they were forced to play him. Now Winston plays, and I think that's a good thing for the Browns. But the Ravens are on a run right now on offense, and I just can't imagine anybody slowing down that group. This is back to back road games on a short week, tough to do. But I really think that the Ravens' offense is going to be tough to stop, and I'm going to go with the Ravens in this one. For the guys in that Browns locker room, I'm really happy that you have a quarterback. Out there will give you a chance to look like an NFL offense. For the guys in the other locker room, keep doing what you're doing. You are a house. I talked about the Niners. If they got healthy, they could be a house. But they could end up looking like that Ravens team. They could beat you a number of different ways. Lamar's playing the best football I've ever seen him play. This is a two time MVP. You now add Derek Henry to the backfield. This team can be Jay in a number of ways. The defense is going to have to step up big and just put out that flame that they just sparked there with James Winston. I got the Ravens by two scores. By the way, the Ravens defense is not playing well either, which is a surprise. But the offense has been so good, it hasn't really mattered at some point. It might matter. They got to pick up their play a little bit too. So, you know, I'm wondering, uh, James Winston, he does not fall into the UR, which you are back up to the start. He's been he's been he's Without using your own money in the Columbus area, here are three reasons Ooh, 
I'm seeing a lot of BS. You want to watch him win. Don't sleep on my former teammate, Marcus Mariota, because when he came out of the NFL draft, this is a guy who had a lot of the same skill sets that Jaden Daniels has. Obviously, Jaden has reached the ceiling in terms of mobility, deep ball throwing. So for a guy like Cliff Kingsbury, he can kind of take Marcus, who's a better player, really experienced, and plug him right in. He looked great last week. I expect the commanders not to miss a beat offensively. Obviously, they're not going to be running the same revs as they are with Jaden Daniels. But that offense won't look anemic like some of the other teams we talked about. I still love the Bears in this game when it comes down to the defense. Defense travels really well. The Bears have run the ball effectively. Caleb's gotten better every single week. I expect him to go out and continue that progression as a quarterback. I'm with you. I'm taking the Bears as well. Uh, I just think they're the if Get a lot of rim and wings. Because the script told you to miss the throws, you idiot. You know it's fake. You have to. You wouldn't even be on TV. Yes, it does. Buffalo offense will get cranked up here. We started seeing 
Cooper do his thing a little bit, even though he didn't really know the offense last week. He saw him lining him up a couple different times. They're gonna be much better this time around. This will be loose. This is gonna be high scoring. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the Bills. Yes, it will be loose. It's gonna be loose. I, I always love something about getting a change of temperature, not as much humidity. I think it'll be really nice for the Bills. Josh Allen playing a great brand of football, taking care of the ball. And I just I love the Bills in this spot. I really do. The Seahawks had a big win last week. They had to travel a long ways, come back home. I just don't know if they have two weeks in a row. I'm expecting you to go. Hey, we got a front coming into Seattle. Yeah, look here. Let's go down to Los Angeles where the Chargers are hosting the Saints. Both of these teams started two and this season. That was a long time ago. Combined since then, they're one and eight, and the Saints had one all. Uh, Justin Herbert threw for 350 yards last week to a few guys that I think we would have a, a trouble naming right here at the table. I give a tremendous amount of credit to Jim Harbaugh in that offense. Obviously, they wanted to pound the rock early in the season, but they showed their hand. They let Justin flex his muscles a little bit. I would hope to see them get some help uh, at the receiver position, but in this one, I'm going to go with the Chargers. And, you know, I don't even know what the spread is. I like the Chargers. Seven and a half. Yeah. yeah. And it's big, and it's not big enough because I'm going to take the Chargers. You know, you talk about getting back to your roots. They're going to pound it. The Saints can't stop anybody in the run game. They will run all over. This is going to be a hardball game. They will have to get yeah, yeah, defensive really good. Very good. All right, it's time for uh, Peepers Goes Picks, presented by FanDuel. Um, we're getting best bets for everyone, and the records are not just tough for you, it's tough for me as well. I want to say it's top three, one. We have Hazel, three and four, the producer, make it two, five. To be fair, I haven't known the show the last couple of weeks. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know. 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 I don't know.